Porter here. Welcome to Rooted in Music TV. Everything that we talk about, deal about, is music related. I got another bomb episode, but before we begin, hit that like button, subscribe button, share button, pass me around, pass me around, Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms. And y'all know how I feel about my chain. If you like to support the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign Mafia US. Also, check out the website, 250gemstones.com.co music 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 oh let's loosen up let's loosen up y'all enigma busy bone uh during this time this is when takeoff was still alive uh i guess bone thugs and harmony specifically uh lazy and busy didn't appreciate the disrespect that was coming from migo's direction they didn't appreciate it at all they didn't appreciate uh the lack of awareness are you aware that we sold almost 50 million are you aware of our fan base are you aware of our rhyme skills and our patterns and our harmonies i think me goes to the line uh they the best to ever do it or but the, it was the timing that they said it, it was something like they kind of stepped on bone thugs on bone thugs foots you know but there's a lot of groups i don't know why bone thugs specific bone thugs is my favorite group i don't know why they took offense uh, when they're, they could have been talking about any group. They said they're the best rap group. Uh, what did Migo say? The best rap group of all time? Hold on. They just said they are the best of all time. And Bone Thug said, do y'all know who he is? Trying to look for it. Offset argues that Migos are the top five of all time hip hop group. So it, it, it's just, it's just what niggas do. Niggas is being competitive. It's, hip hop is a competitive sport with your rhyme skills. Uh, started off with battle rap and MCing. This album was another great album. I mean, it did get some uh, recognition. RCAA. I think it's so. Uh, I forgot where it ranked, but it has uh, Busy Bone was saying um, how some of the radio stations say, "Oh, Bone Thugs ain't nobody. They haven't had a hit." And then he pulled out the plaque. Busy Bone had to bust out the plaque. So they veterans in the game, man. I mean, when you've been doing something for thirty plus years for that long. And you're still selling out shows. You're still hype. They, him, them, and uh, Three Six Mafia. They were getting it on. So, legends. I like Migos too. It's just bone thugs. Was, you know, it's just bone thugs. I mean, the style is so different. But Enigma was uh, responding to uh, pretty much the whole album was responding and letting people know, reminding people of uh, bone thugs story. Uh, Carbon Monoxide was the album. The song I'm about to read the to is Enigma. The album is called Carbon Monoxide, another fire album. Just reminding people of their story, reminding people of their rhyme skills, reminding people of their harmonies, reminding people of their uh, complex rhyme, their rhyme patterns. So let's jump into it. And the intro said, ha, 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 oh shit, be very, very quiet, um, hunting wabbits. So... In the intro, he's talking like Elmer Fudd because he had a musket. And Busy Bones right here is making fun of himself because he got he got so pissed off at the Migos about what they said about them being the best group ever. I think uh, he flashed his guns like the youngsters did. Like Busy Bones too old to be doing this, but something came over him. He's still a nigga from Cleveland, right? So he put everybody so he put out this uh, old, old, old shotgun. The one with the big old wide bell barrel. Like the, the barrel this long, but the end of the barrel uh, about that big, it comes out. And the ones you gotta put the the gunpowder and you gotta stuff it. 
stuff, 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 stuff to make sure it's packed. It takes you about two and a half, three minutes to load for each round. Them, them type of muskets and uh, FBI came knocking on uh, Busy Bones door. You know he is worldwide, and they're trying to figure out what you're doing, flashing weapons. So and they snatched him up. So that's what he's referring to, acting a fool on IG. So this is the first verse. I'ma let my nuts hang, nigga. And these tight pants into the buck spray. Or with the 12 gauge. I don't give a F, nigga. F them. So he's talking about the Migos right here. He's mocking the Migos with the tight pants. I'm wearing the tight pants too, but my nuts gonna hang while I'm wearing my uh, tight pants. <laughs> Anybody, everybody with a bottle, no lie. Without my army, I ain't sorry, little nigga. This bone thugs in harmony. So he's saying that even by himself, he can kill the Migos. He said that a few times in the interview. He said he really didn't even go in, go in like he wanted to. Um, I think he went in hard enough. I think he went in hard enough, y'all. I mean, he was going in. And he said, that's why he said, I ain't sorry, little nigga. This bone thugs in harmony. So even by himself or as a group collectively, they, 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 they're number one. Let's not get this misunderstood. Set it off. Say Shorty got the Mossberg. Man, the gun's so big, it'll blow a nigga brain into crosswords. Well, damn. <laughs> Little Ricky better run, swerve. It's that soft shore because the goddamn converse. Now, Busy Bone, if you ever... If if you ever listen to Busy Bone, his rhymes are um, he he remind me of Hosier and uh, the older Mariah Carey songs and the love ballads. They're they're written in poetry. They're written in, they're very complex. So not only is he complex when he rhymes, it's poetic, it's complex, and it's fast with the harmony. So Busy Bone is one of the most unique. I think probably the most unique rapper because. You really have to slow down and see what he's saying. Like this one, Little Ricky. I'm trying to see out who he's. Little Ricky, you know, it's Migo take off. Little Ricky. Little Ricky better run, swerve. I don't know who Little Ricky is. Y'all can help me out. Y'all can help me out. Help me out with this line. It's that soft shores, cause the goddamn converse. I don't know what that means either. It's that soft shores, soft shores. The beaches, cause the goddamn converse, converse. Chuck Taylor's converse means talking. So he's talking about either he's talking about, I think he's talking about talking. It's a goddamn converse. I think he's talking about this having a conversation with the Migos, sitting them down like an OG. The next line said, "Chicken dipping like it's taught served, but those lost words be the same. But I saw worse." So. Busy Bone, you heard this to Busy Bone, all the Busy Bone, Lazy Bone, and Busy Flesh, Lazy, Crazy, they all rap fast. Crazy and Crazy Lazy and Busy, they, those are the ones that have the wordplay. So, chicken dipping like it's toss served, but those lost words be the same. But I saw worse. So what lost words? He said those lost words be the same, but I saw worse. He's trying to say something. Like I said, he talks, he he rhymes and riddles. I had the sauce first. Now I know what that means. He's talking about he had some, when, when Bone Dust came out, there were kids. They were uh, between the ages of 17 and 21. So he's saying, I had the sauce first. Talking about way back in the days, the sauce mean the juice, like, Juice, the swag, they had the streets on lock, the momentum, uh, the superstardom. He said, I had it first. I'm an OG in this game. So, I think this first verse is just letting them know that you're talking about the converse. I'm just sitting down and letting them know that I'm the OG. I am well groomed. I know what the hell I'm talking about. I know what I saw. I had the sauce first. I let it thaw, thirsting out, y'all. So, I think it's going back to that chicken line, chicken dipping. And he said, because I let, I let it thaw, thristing at y'all. So, thristing, what the hell is thristing mean? One sec. Try looking it up, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Arrogant and egotistical without a flaw. 
standing there with no one beside y'all like guards dripping i ain't tripping i got a couple of them dog so he talking about he ain't got no guards arrogant egotistical without the flaw so he's talking about He's uh, being sarcastic, talking about you guys are the greatest, you guys don't make no mistakes, you guys just know everything about everything. That's what he's saying, he's being sarcastic right here. Arrogant, he's a kiss. Arrogant and egotistical without a flaw, standing there with no one beside y'all like guards. Dripping, I ain't tripping, I got a couple of them. Talking about I got bodyguards, I got my stuff together, and you guys just acting like you're the only ones that can hold it down. So right here, I think he's just paying homage to uh, hip-hop. You know, knowing that everybody that's ever picked up a microphone has flaws, they have problems, but they act like they stuff don't stink. They act like, you know, they're just bigger than hip hop itself. It says, uh, this is the chorus. Listen to me pimping. This is Cleveland. Nigga, we get even. Nigga, don't be afraid of Steven. Hold on, hold on. I'll let big boy hit you with a sig, boy. I'm like Sig Freud with that vulture breathing. So Sig Freud, I think that was back in the movies. An enigma in that culture need him. And I'm all the reason. I'm a low my Nina because it looks like a nigga gonna off and need him. <laughs> so he's talking about his gun. And, you know, he's talking about, you know, how vicious it was when they came in the game, how treacherous it was when they came in the game, how um, their style, their originality changed the game. When I, when I all see them running like a mile a millimeter. So he's just talking about, you know, the culture that they come from, you know, they, where I'm getting that he's, when they came in the game, it was much harder. You know, um, he's saying we're the toughest. He's always, that's what say, keep his Nina on him because he's always prepared. I think he's mean his Nina literally. I think he's mean, mean his Nina lyrically. He's lyrically always prepared. So second verse, but I am a good leader. I give you another banger. I'll give you another heater. Remember me, motherfucker, the gun on the album cover. So he's talking about, uh, Shots to the double Glock, you know, on the back of the, uh, on the album cover, um, that was their thing, the double Glock, East 1999, so, like I said, it's going back to, he's comparing, he's comparing, uh, uh, genre, not genre, eras, when they came in the game, was shoot them up, bang, 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 that's what talking about, millimeters, talking about the gun on the cover, it was thugged out west, west, y'all. West, West, y'all. East Coast, West Coast, grimy, every major city. It was turned turned up all the way up. And that's why I said, I'll give you another banger, man. He's he been making hits since he was a child. I'll give you another heater. Talking about another song, too. He said he's masterful at doing this. All well, goes back to the whole point of the song. Letting the Migos know he's a master at doing this. He said, you remember me, mother effer. The gun on the album cover. I am, he said, I'm one of the Tower Brothers. The 50 and Power Brother, the Michael of our brother. So, it pause right here. I am one of the Tower Brothers. So, I don't know if he's saying um, he stands out. Bone doesn't harm. He stands out like the like the Twin Towers. I don't know. Y'all can help me out. Is he talking about the towers in uh, New York? They were so grand and so like astonished. Like when people look at it, they're like astonished, and that's how the, that's the impression people get when they listen to Bone Thugs and Harmony and uh, their masterful flows, and then been around so long and still being relevant and all their contribution to hip hop and their influence. When they look at Bone Thugs and Harmony, he said, "I'm I'm one of the Tower Brothers." So there was only two towers in New York, and like I said, they were grand. They're one of the tallest buildings in the world. So, like I said, do they, are they, is busy saying they are a reflection of those towers when people look at them, like I said, they are astonished by what they have, what they have done for hip hop. The 50 and Power Brother, now I think he's talking about the 50, uh, 50 Cent Show. Um, 
50 was, you know, 50 is the main star. So I think he's saying, I think he's saying in the, the 50 and Power Brother, the Michael of Our Brother, I think he's saying he's a star. 50 Cent is a star of power. Michael Jackson is the star of the Jackson 5. So I, I get that. I get that. Like I said, Busy Bone, it's crazy how you can rap and have so many similes and metaphors and, um, uh, and, and have a poetic style and have a fast rap and have a harmony and it all sounds good. That, that shit's hard, bro. Busy Bone, like, one of the goats. The... The cyclical nature that circles all around the brothers. So that wouldn't touch a nigga money. Got the salary, brother. It wouldn't touch a nigga money. Got the salary, brother. The cyclical nature that circles all around the brothers. So I think he's saying the cyclical nature. And that means he's circling around all the brothers. So is he saying cyclical nature? Cyclical nature. He's always around. I think he's saying... He's always uh, is going to support his homies. He's always going to support Bone Thugs and Harmony despite whatever they go through. Because in the second line, he said, the, cycl the cyclical nature that circles all around the brothers, it wouldn't touch a nigga money, got the salary, brother. So I think he's saying um, no matter what Bone Thugs go through, he's still going to love his brothers. You know, and nothing's going to ever change. And he is the force one of the main forces or probably because even in the groups he's uh um, there's competition you know busy probably compete with crazy crazy probably compete with lazy but even in the group he, busy bone still think he's the best one in the group the, the cyclical nature that circles around the brother so his energy around bone thugs harmony bone thugs and harmony is not complete without him it wouldn't touch a nigga money Got the salary, brother. Talking about and they getting money. He's the best. He's getting money. The Mickey and Mallory, brother. I think this reference to another movie. I got that cal on me, brother. Now, he's talking about that caliber. Now, I don't know which caliber you're talking about. I don't know if it's 380. I don't know if it's 9 millimeter. I don't know if it's 45. But he said, I got that cal on me, brother. Without no title, you mother efforts. I'm about to pull out the musket. No, he said, with. With no title, you mother effers, I'm about to pull the musket out. Going back to the beginning of the song, be wary, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. That musket, the FBI came, investigated busy. What you doing? I see you. It wasn't a modern shotgun. You have a lot of money. We don't know why you got this musket. It's one of them guns so old, like if you grip it too tight, it'll turn to dust. <laughs> it's one of them type of one of them type of situations. And let it off in this mother effort. Watch your mouth. You niggas soft in this mother effort. Bet the industry just tossed you out. Now he's talking about now that Busy Bone can stay personal business. Because they had, the Migos going through some financial hardships. They were, uh, I'm saying they weren't broke, but they, were, um, they weren't getting all their money. They weren't getting all their dues. They weren't getting all that cheese that they deserved. Bet the industry just tossed you out. Damn. Y'all all slaves on the label. Little goddamn uh, cocksuckers. Y'all living off show money. Now I'm busy bones here. I'm the OG. I, I've been where you're at. And I'm trying to school y'all on who you're talking to as far as me as a MC, As far as me as someone that contributed to the hip hop game. That changed the game. Someone that's one of the best to ever do it on the musical side. Now on the business side, I'm going to help you little niggas out. Y'all living off show money. And everything that he said was true. Uh, QC, quality control, old offset a whole bunch of money. That's why the group started breaking up. Busy, busy was like offset. He said, I've been there where you at. And busy here, busy here. I mean, busy here in the uh, offset here. But busy said, brother, I've been there where you at. Instead of trying to be so cocky and arrogant. That's why he said, you know, um, y'all getting paid off show. Instead of being cocky and arrogant, y'all can learn from the older crowd. Instead of just trying to come in there with your arrogant and your tight pants, running your mouth, talking your ish, you could have learned from it. I could have put you on some game. But y'all didn't want to do that. Y'all so hot-headed. Now look at you. Y'all slaves on the label. Living off show money. Get paid every first of the month. Now that's mo' money. 
first of the month was the Bone Thugs, one of the Bone Thugs' biggest hits. Get paid every first of the month. Now that's more money. We're talking about royalties. The royalties come every three months, but once you start getting it going, you get paid every month. So uh, in other words, you can say you made a hit in January, you don't get paid till March. What, February, March? You won't get paid till April, right? But if you've been making music January, February, March, throughout that time you're waiting for your first royalties, you've been making music every month, you're going to get paid every month. So every first of the month, busy saying, I got money coming in from my royalties. Little beat from the grave at the crossroads, when I look at my son, say, that's your money. You know, little bit, because that's one of their friends, and he's just letting them know, I'm getting that, I'm getting money from me and my family. Murder, 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 I am a general, you little niggas sure ain't sweet. These niggas think we number running, I'm on TMZ, and I am a free MC. Talking about, he's, he's not a slave to the... Uh, industry. Now, I still believe he's uh, when they do as big as they are. I think they still have some type of tie. They, they still get a percentage. But Busy Bone redid all of his stuff, and I think he's. Uh, I don't know if he's one hundred percent independent, but I think he's um, indie. I don't think they're signed with a big one. I'm trying to see. I don't know what their record did, but I know they still huge. Bone Thugs is still huge, and that's still no you need to push. But I think they have more control of their music, more control of their royalties, more control of their masters, and that's why he's saying, uh, "I am a free MC. Ain't nobody got me on shackles like the rest of you niggas with them terrible ass deals." Yeah, we went through it when we were kids, but I got that cleaned up. I got love for the young bulls, but that's me. Little lay in the building, chasing around little children. Talking about it was like I said, it was busy bone and lazy bone that got tired of Migos running their mouth. Little that's we talking about little lay, little lazy in the building chasing around little children. My niggas hunt, I can't front, but I'm chilling. My artillery is steady, heated heavy. That's a crazy bone song. Giving reference to uh, crazy shout out, crazy. My artillery is steady, heated heavy. Every mother effort place that I go, so I be ready. And then it goes back, let me see. Let me see. Let me see if there's anything else. Is that Popo been already here? Run out the back with the pier. Hopefully they will not follow me. Or I will pull up my pistol and pew, pew, pew. That was like one of the highlights of the song. Uh, BM is all in my DM. This is the third verse. BM is all in my DM. Bitch, I'm going to call when I see him. Soon as they over 18 and your money is gone, I'm going to see how you being. Ooh. Ooh. Talking about, they're telling them to call the Migos going to go broke. And everything, like like I said, going back to the Migos situation with their um quality control with their label, they were getting done dirty. And this is what Big, Busy was talking about. Instead of trying to run your mouth, y'all need to come to the OG so we can school y'all on this business side. Niggas is still in my cams. Rippy to the yams, yeah, rippy to yams, and all of my people, they roll with the bone. When I'm coming to give that, we stand up. What you saying? When I'm coming to give what we stand. And then it goes back to the court, go back to the bridge, and that's it. That's the end of the song. I'm trying to see what he's trying to say. And all of my people that roll with the bone, I understand that. When I'm coming to give what we stand. When I'm coming to give what we stand. There's another. Y'all gotta help me out with that one too. So would y'all like to know my opinion? Would y'all like to know my opinion? Of course you do. That's why you here. In closing, another great song. Uh, not actually listening to the lyrics. Um, like I said, Bone Thugs, they, even when they were little, they, even when they were young, they uh, always had this poetic gangster harmonizing uh and intellect about their rhyme patterns and everything great this i just love to see people compete not just compete just to start some stuff just to compete you know when you have two um very polarizing groups amigos you can't deny amigos influence on the game you can't deny bone thugs harmonies influence on the game they still doing it like i said they were still on uh Versus, they was out there with Three Six Mafia. They're all acting the fool, and they Bone Thugs tore it down. Three Six Mafia tore it down, but I'm rooting for Bone Thugs. You understand what I'm saying? So Enigma by Busy Bone.
um, clapping back at the Migos, letting them know, hey, we know what we're doing. We've been here a long time. And next time, instead of running your mouth, still, instead of thinking you this and that, talk to the OG because if you build relationships with the older, with the older men, because there's a lot of information out there that they could have gave you, but you missed out. And now look at you. QC didn't shut down, take off going, like a whole stuff happening. BZ Bone kind of foretold this uh, in a song. But y'all let me know what y'all think. If you have listened to it, once again, it's Enigma, Busy Bone. If you have, you know what I'm talking about. It's slamming. Until next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. 250. I'm gone.